how to read ECG. A 45-year-old male patient presenting to ER with chest pain. So ECG will show electrical activity. Echocardiography will show ultrasound image and angiography will show coronary supply. ECG machine has four cables for upper and lower limbs, six cables for the chest. So, red, yellow, green, black, right, red, left, yellow, and right leg, black, and left leg is green. Where to place ECG electrodes, chest electrodes, V1, V2, V3 in fourth intercostal space, in mid clavicular line V4, in anterior axillary line V5, and in the mid axillary line V6. Precordial leads V1, V2 septal, V3, V4 anterior, and V5, V6 lateral. Augmented unipolar limb leads AVR, AVL, and AVF. Standard limb leads lead 1, positive on the left arm, negative on the right arm, lead 3, positive on the left leg, negative on the left arm, lead 2, positive on the left leg and negative on the right arm. Standard limb leads lead 1. <coughs> lead 2 and lead 3 as shown here in thoven triangle of lead 1 lead 2 lead 3 avl avr and avf ecg pe ecg paper has uh, six limb leads and six chest leads as depicted in the figure How to comment on ECG? Each group of leads are capturing certain wall of the heart. Morphology, duration and voltage. Know the normal to detect the abnormal. Anatomic groups. 1. Lateral. 2. 3. AVF. Inferior. AVL. Lateral. AVR is none. V1. V2 are septal. V3. V4. Anterior. V5. V6. Lateral. Timing on the ECG paper, speed 25 mm per second, one small box 40 millisecond, one large box 200 millisecond, five large boxes one second, 300 large boxes one minute. One mm width is equal to 40 milliseconds. Five mm width equals to 200 millisecond. 25 mm is one second, five mm is 0.2 second or 200 millisecond. And 1 mm is 0 0.04 second or 40 milliseconds. Voltage on the ECG paper. Time on the paper is shown as 0.2 seconds. One small square is 0.1 millivolt on voltage. 10 small boxes are equal to two large boxes equal to one millivolt systematic approach is advised first you check for the rhythm in sinus rhythm there is regular rr interval each p is followed by qrs along with a normal pr interval in atrial fibrillation for example there would be irregular rr interval absent or fibrillatory waves absent p waves along with fibrillatory waves Second, you will check for the rate if the rhythm is regular. So heart rate is 300 divided by RR interval in large boxes. Six seconds rule is that number of complexes in six seconds, 30 large square into 10 is 
द फॉर्मूला फॉर डिटेक्टिंग इरेगुलर हार्ट रेट्स सो हेयर वी कैन सी दैट दे आर आर सेवन क्यू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्सेस इन सिक्स सेकेंड इंटरवल एंड वी काउंट फ्रॉम जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सेवन इंटू टेन इज सेवेंटी बीट्स पर मिनट कार्डिक एक्सिस ए वी एफ इज एट नाइन्टी डिग्री ए वी एल एट माइनस थर्टी डिग्री वन एट जीरो डिग्री ए वी एफ एट नाइन्टी डिग्रीज एंड अपोजिट टू वन इज माइनस वन वन एटी डिग्रीज so as you can see in normal axis lead one and avf both are upright in right axis deviation lead one is down and avf is upright in left axis deviation avf is down and lead one is upright in extreme axis both are directed downwards lead 1 and avf their qrs direction ecg voltage normal voltage is qrs amplitude of above 5 mm in limb leads more than 10 mm in precordial leads if there is less than 5 mm qrs amplitude in all limb leads it is called low voltage low voltage ecg can have impedance issues or generation issues generation issues are cardiac like mi infiltrative cardiomyopathy myocarditis hypothyroidism impedance issues can be pericardial due to effusion or constrictive pericarditis or pneumopericardium thoracic issues like intra pleural pulmonary or mediastinal issues and soft tissue problems like peripheral edema or skin edema and obesity so there are wave segments and intervals pr interval from start of p to the start of r or qrs pr segment is end of p to the start of r qrs complex is from the start of q to the end of s st segment is from the end of s wave to the start of t wave qt interval is from the start of q to the end of t wave s a node will generate p wave it is atrial depolarization av conduction av node his perkinje system will generate pr segment or pr interval qrs duration indicates ventricular depolarization and st segment will show ventricular repolarization and t wave shows ventricular repolarization as well ecg waves p wave is atrial depolarization which can be positive biphasic or negative qrs complex ventricular depolarization q wave is the first negative deflection before r r wave is the positive deflection and s is the first negative deflection after r wave t wave is ventricular repolarization it can be positive biphasic or negative t wave normal p wave is positive in lead 2 its duration is less than 3 small square its amplitude is less than 2.5 small squares patterns of easy atrial enlargement in and p waves so you will see in lead 2 rv1 normal is uh, as shown here in abnormalities in lead 2 there would be a biphasic t wave and uh, in enlargement of the left atrium there would be m pattern and in right atrial enlargement there would be a tall p wave as seen in lead 2 or lead v1 pr interval indicates av conduction 
less than 0.12 in WPW 0 0.122.20 .20 second is a normal PR interval and more than 0 0.20 is AV nodal block QRS complex depolarization as shown in figure A in V1 and small Q in V6 and in figure B you can see that there is big S wave in V1 with small R wave in V1 and in V6 there is a big R wave and small Q wave in lead V6. QRS in chest leads there is a progression in amplitude of the R wave as we proceed from V1 to V6. Pathological Q waves of MI as shown in the figure there in the ECG and there is ST elevation as well. QRS duration less than 0 0.10 is normal. 0.1 to 0.12 is incomplete bundle branch block and more than 0.12 is complete bundle branch block. It can be premature ventricular contraction as well. So QRS duration more than 0.12 second is prolonged QRS duration. Bundle branch block LBBB left bundle branch block you can see that there is QS complex in V1 along with ST elevation and there is a notched R wave in lead 1 along with T wave inversion in right bundle branch block you can see RSR prime pattern in lead V1 with S wave in lead 1. Some people uh, give this uh, an impression of M shape in the lead V6 in the left bundle branch block and M shape in V1 in a right bundle branch block but that is a crude method and uh, not very reliable. QRS voltage in LV hypertrophy there would be deep S wave in V1 and a tall R wave in V6. ST segment ventricular repolarization as you can see there is a J point there is an ST segment which is a flat line that follows the QRS complex. ST elevation earliest reliable sign of ST elevation MI. We have already discussed the localization of MI. ST depression, myocardial ischemia, or non ST elevation MI as shown here. T wave minimum of 5 mm in height in limb leads and 10 mm in any precordial lead. Slightly asymmetrical, meaning the right and left sides of waveform are uneven. T wave inversions can occur. QT interval is from start of Q to the end of T wave. QT corrected QT interval is less than 0.44 seconds normally above 440 milliseconds is long QT interval that could result in torsa D points 450 milliseconds is normal for females focused approach in arrhythmias is four items to reach for diagnosis rate rhythm PQRS relation and QRS duration Ischemia you will see for Q waves, ST segment and T waves and localization of the ischemia. So for heart rate, normal heart rate, multiply multiple P waves followed by QRS is atrial flutter 3 to 1, 2 to 1, multiple P to QRS, absent P are uh, irregular P's atrial fibrillation in tachycardia you will look for QRS duration. If it is narrow, there are two rhythms, regular rhythm, multiple P followed by QRS, it will flutter. If it is uh, regular, QRS followed by P or no P, it is SVT. If it is irregular with no P's, it is atrial fibrillation. If it is irregular with multiple P's followed by QRS, it is atrial flutter with variable block. If QRS is wide and rhythm is regular, VT, SVT with bundle branch block can be the cause. And if the QRS is wide and is irregular, there could be AF with B, WPW. If <clears throat> heart rate is slow, 
if the heart rate is slow pqrs relation is checked if no relation complete av block if multiple p's followed by qrs fixed pr interval it is morbid to if there is progressive pr prolongation and then block it is morbid one here in this ecg you can see that there is normal rate irregular rhythm absent p waves and narrow qrs so it is atrial fibrillation here tachycardia regular tachycardia p with qrs <coughs> P after QRS and there is wide QRS duration so it is VT <coughs> here you can see the rate tachycardic rhythm is regular P wave is after QRS with narrow QRS and it is SVT here again you can see regular rhythm with normal with normal rate multiple P's followed by QRS and narrow QRS it is atrial flutter here in this ECG you can see that there is a, there are Q waves there is ST segment elevation here you can see ischemia along with ST elevation in 2-3 AVF one and avl reciprocal depression this is inferior mi and that is it thank you